at, as an end result, yes, there is a drawing that is completed, which is just a snapshot of that moment. It could have been several other drawings. My name is Ruby Onyenyechi Amanze, and I'm here in my studio in Philadelphia. So I've been very interested for this Paris show about process, how the work gets made, what, what's required. Before you see it in the gallery on a wall finish, everything that's behind the scenes that happens in here or, um, yeah, in my person. That's part of the process as well, to, to stop and to have a thing and, and then to go back into it. It's just this cycle. So I need to have that as well. I love paper. I, I studied textiles and had an ongoing relationship, one with drawing and then also with fabric um, and process. The process of, in textiles, you might do, I don't know, five to 10 different processes to get to your end result that you can't separate anything that's happened. It's just this, this journey and I think paper is similar. I think paper operates in that same sort of way where every mark that happens to it, every interaction with it um, is held inside of the paper. I do think of paper as a skin, a membrane. Part of that is that it's coming from the earth and has been um, transformed in, its, in the paper making process to be flat-ish, smooth-ish. Um, but it's still coming from a living organism in many ways that it's a holding of, um, of a life. I think people think that my work is clean because there is a lot of paper space, but if you get up close, it's not as clean as it appears. <laughs> I have to move around the, the paper a lot, understanding its weight, and weightlessness um, and I sometimes feel in the drawing that I am dancing. I'm dancing inside of the paper, I'm dancing around the paper. I'm, I'm very aware of my body when I'm drawing. So having to kind of negotiate things like that of speed and accuracy and um, movement, both mine and the paper. I like to say hello when I come in here um, and greet the space and um, wonder what it was up to. I, I think the drawings can be quite cheeky um, and that the, the height of that is at night. It's just a good time for mischief and clarity also. So the next day there's something that wasn't apparent to me the night before.